right, let's go ahead and get started. Thanks for uh, coming back today. We uh, had a big turnout yesterday, and it uh, looks like we got quite a big uh, group today. Glad to see you all come back. Um, it's really interesting to me. Most of the time, traders want to just see presentations about you know, entering and exiting trade, trade execution indicators, how to learn and find uh, good trade setups and trade management and all of that stuff. And that's that's generally what traders are most interested in learning about because they they really truly believe that that's really all they need to know. So just the fact that you guys are here specifically to hear something that's not directly related to that. In fact, you're you're here to listen to the more fundamental parts of running a trading business, of being a full-time professional trader, um, that that basically says a lot about you, that you've maybe reached a point in your trading career, maybe you're not, haven't been as successful as you want to be, and you come to a realization that, you know, maybe there's more to it than just, you know, entering and exiting trades for a profit so this is part two of our of our two-part event and what we're going to talk about and continuing continue talking about is not just trading like it's your business i mean that's that's a big a big part of this mental change that you need to go through is you need to start considering day trading as your business it's going to make you approach trading differently. It's going to actually change the way you think, change the way your brain works as it relates to your your career at day trading. So let's don't just but let's don't think of it just as trading like it's your business. You want to trade like it's your only business, okay? One of the problems that I have identified, I identified it in myself and I see it in many other people, and that is when you have another income to fall back on, you never actually dedicate yourself to this small business. Okay, You never dedicate yourself to your training the way a small business owner is dedicated and devoted to the success of their small business. If you always have a backup and you know, well, if I lose today, if I lose tomorrow, if I lose this next trade, if I don't do the work required, if I don't do the homework, I don't do my trade analysis, I don't do my practice, it'll be okay because I've got this other income. So I, I can skip all of that. I can... Go ahead and take care of these small little fires that I have to put out during the day. And then at the end of the day, maybe if I have enough time, then I'll work on my trading a little bit. Okay? So that's one of the bigger problems that we all have and have to struggle with is that we know we have another source of income. So uh, we're going to talk about today how to get beyond that. All right? So you guys remember this guy from from yesterday, right? Or if you watched the video, you watched part one. Remember this guy? This is you. This is you. This is this is you and how you need to identify yourself as a person that has a day trading business. This is how you need to think about yourself. In fact, if somebody comes up and asks you, what do you do? Maybe you're at a party or at a kid's baseball game or something. Hey, what do you do? I have a day trading business. You'll be surprised over time how that starts to change the way you think about what it is you're trying to accomplish in your in in your day trading. Okay, you don't want to tell people that I'm trying to learn to become a day trader. You want to be a day trader. They don't have to know how successful you are or how successful you aren't or that you're still trying to learn or that you haven't gained any traction or that you haven't put any money 
uh, you haven't grown your trading account, and none of that. They don't have to know any of that. This is more about how you feel about you and how you're approaching your day trading. So we're gonna we're gonna review this quickly. Uh, this is this is how we got here yesterday. We're gonna talk about start trading as a business and how to do it right now. Okay. So we were talking about the first thing you need to do to to give the your uh, trading business uh, some structure, make given an identity. Let's let's create a business name. Okay. Let's go out there and you come up with something fun. This is fun. This should do. This should be a lot of fun to come up with a business name and you can even put a logo with it. Okay. This is now something tangible that you can, when you when you're telling somebody that you have a day trading business, you picture your your trading name, you picture this logo, and now it is it actually has, like I said, some value. And you need to get a bank account, and you want to get a bank account, and you want it to be the bank account for your trading business. Now, you probably, and I'm not, uh, banking is not my thing, but you may have to open a personal trading account, but that trading account is separate from your personal account that you use to pay your bills with. And I'm going to tell you more about this later. So you, this needs to be your trading business bank account only. All right? And then optionally, you talk to your accountants and your lawyers or whatever and maybe apply for a business license, a corporate entity. It's I, I can't advise you on that because it's different in all states. And all, all municipalities are, are a little bit different. But again, create a business. And now when somebody asks you what you do, your answer is, I have a day trading business. Okay? So this is how you want to identify yourself to the outside world. And when you do that, you start to believe it also. We went over all of this yesterday. And all of you yesterday were talking about, oh, what a great idea. <clears throat> I'm going to do that. So how many of you actually did it? <clears throat> how many of you actually went out there and created your business name and maybe even put a logo with it? So it's interesting to me that, okay, all right, some of you, uh, uh, that's a good one. Great. So some of you obviously did. But by and large, I think the most of you probably didn't. So you have to understand the level of frustration from somebody who has been through what a lot of you are going through or have been through. I was a failed trader for seven years and I've been through it and I know what worked for me. And then I've counseled hundreds of other traders and it has worked for many of them. You have to understand the frustration of giving somebody some of your best advice that you know is going to help you help them and they totally ignore you. I've given you some free advice that has helped a lot of others become uh, more serious and more successful in their trading. So if you didn't do it, you need to ask yourself, what are you waiting for? Are you waiting to hear somebody say something else that maybe you don't think they're full of it? Maybe you think I'm full of it uh, or, I, or I don't know what I'm talking about or that what I'm saying doesn't really pertain to you? Or maybe you're just waiting for me to teach you the Holy Grail trade setup with, you know, all of these uh, miracle indicators that are going to make you rich. Or you're just listening. You're just gathering information. You're waiting for me to say something that might agree with some of your already preconceived notions and expectations. All right. So if you didn't do it, for those of you that did great, I'm proud of you. If you didn't do it, if you were here yesterday or you watched it on video and you still haven't done it, 
What are you waiting for? Okay? You've got to start working on yourself more than just the mechanics of trading. And this is what this event is about. Okay? I can light the path for you. I can give you the tools and then I can light the path. But I can't walk the path for you. You can keep wandering around in the dark, running as fast as you can, bumping into trees. Uh, or you can slow down and take deliberate and intentional steps towards your goals. It's totally up to you. And I want to help you. But I can't do it for you. I gave you some good advice that people pay for, but most of you ignored it. Okay? Maybe you're putting it off until later, or you just have no intentions of doing it because you don't believe it's important. So I wouldn't be surprised to learn that 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 was ultimately the fate of your trading career as well. I've walked the scary dark path and I've come out the other side and I've helped hundreds of others do it. If you want to talk to them, just ask us and we'll send a list of them to you to communicate with or better yet, come to uh, talk to them in our trade room. You know, sign up for our free trial. You can sign up for a free trial. Uh, here and I'll make sure this also ends up uh, if you're watching this on uh, video it'll be down in the comment section all right let's move on now okay so let's say you're looking for a job and you come to me and I have a job where I'm looking to hire a lead trader for my trading company maybe I've I'm getting tired of being a lead trader. I've got too much other, too many other things to do, and I need to hire a lead trader. So I talked to you for a while, and I decided, okay, you're it. You're my lead trader, and I'm going to train you on our system. I'm going to train you on our setups. I'm going to give you a detailed trade plan, which you could you could interchange job description with trade plan. So my question to you is, would you be able to follow to the letter every single day, every word on that trade plan? Would you be able to sit with me at the end of each day and show me exactly on the trade plan, exactly where you use the rules to execute that trade based on the way you trade now? Or can you envision yourself telling me, well, I skipped that trade because I lost the, the last two trades and, and gosh, the market was moving so fast and I just got scared and so I didn't want to put the trade on. Or, you know, I accidentally got into this trade and I just decided, you know, I'm in the trade. I think I'll just see what will happen and maybe it'll win and the boss will be happy or whatever. Or would I be forced to fire you because you can't follow a simple trade plan? You can't perform the tasks in your job description. Now, I, I really want you to think about this based on your history with your trading. Do you trade the way you approach your other job or profession? Are you accountable for your decisions? Do you have the option to tell your boss, well, I was just messing around, so it, you know, it didn't really count, or... I just wanted to see what would happen, or I know I wasn't supposed to do that, but once I realized I made a mistake, what the heck? I was just going to see what, you know, what, what'll happen. I mean, do you have that luxury to tell your boss that, you know, I, I was just messing around? Probably not. You'd probably end up getting fired. Let's, let's don't pretend we're in a business. Let's be a business. Okay. You need to be a business, a trading business. Now, yes, you're the only person in the business, right? You're it. You're the only one. But you've got to understand you've got to wear a lot of different hats when you're running your business. You know, you're 
you're you've got to wear the the boss hat, obviously, because you're the boss. When you're trading, you've got to wear your lead trader hat. Your lead trader has a very specific job, and it doesn't require bookkeeping. There's a person that wears that hat later in the day that looks at the books, not while you're trading. Okay, you've got to wear your training coordinator hat at certain times of the day and you've got to you've got to wear your record keeping hat at certain times of the day and you've got to decide you're going to wear your planning hat certain times of the day all right and just like a business you need to have dedicated days and times that you're going to perform your tasks in that business all of the that list of tasks i just showed you they have to be performed every single day by the person responsible for that task, okay? When you get up to trade in the morning, go to work. Get dressed, get ready for your day to start, and then sit down and day trade. You got to get your mind right. And if you're sitting down in your pajamas with a cup of coffee and decide to day trade for a while, you're kind of approaching trading like a hobby, right? You're going to do it for a little while. You're going to see what you could come up with. And then when you're done, you're going to get up, you're going to get dressed, and you're going to get ready for your day. So in your mind, day trading isn't really that important. You're doing it kind of in your spare time in the morning before your day starts. You got to get it right in your mind that you've got to get ready for your day before you sit down to start being the lead trader of your business. Don't allow distractions. I always tell people if you if your boss at your current job or what or, or any other job that you've ever had allowed distractions uh, then he wouldn't be in business very long and I'm sure he didn't allow distractions like kids coming in calling you all the time on the phone you having to get up and run out and go do run errands and stuff all the time you wouldn't keep your job very long that way I always tell people to clo have have your office in a room with a door on it that door stays closed with a note on it that says, unless you or the house is on fire, don't bother me. Because you've got a job to do. All right? Now, the boss's job is to make sure each department did their job. Each department has to have a checklist of things that have to be accomplished every single day. Not if you have time, not if the kids didn't have soccer practice, not if you got a late start on dinner. You have a job to do, a very specific set of jobs. And then the boss, you have to stop and put on your boss hat at the end of the day, goes, okay, did this department do this, their job? Did they do their job? Did they do their job? Did they do their job? And then you can go ahead and say, okay, my day is done here at the office. This is what makes each department accountable. Yes, they're all you. But you've got to compartmentalize all of the duties that need to be done to run a successful business. Write up some job descriptions and company policy. And each of these descriptions need to be very detailed for each employee uh, and department, okay? Each one could be read to any 10-year-old and they would know exactly what that job description entailed for each department, okay? And then write up a company uh, mission statement and set up company policies. Don't pretend to be a business. Be a business. Now, if you get nothing else out of this, this, this right here will be 
worth the price of entry. This right here was one of the things that really helped to change my life, trading life. Um, and I know it's helped a ton of other people because this is one of the things that I, I hear about when people say, yeah, when I heard that and I saw how to do this, that really was the beginning of a change for me. So what are we talking about? We're talking about making your business accountable. So you're going to make your business accountable to you and your family. At this point, you know it's not. It's something you're still trying to do. It's something you're funneling money from your personal bank account into your trading account. Probably semi-regularly because you seem to run out of money in your trading account. So we're going to start to transition you from somebody who is trying to learn how to be a day trader to somebody who runs a trading business that is now accountable to you and your family. If you start approaching trading that way, your brain is going to work different. All right, so what I want you to do, sit down with a legal pad and make a list of all your monthly bills, and then you're going to rank those from smallest to largest. And for me, my smallest bill when I did this was my water bill, about 25, 35 bucks a month. So what I did was I applied that, or I took that water bill out of my personal monthly bills and I assigned it to my trading business. So instead of just hoping to make a bunch of money at trading, I now had a responsibility that the trading business had to profit at least 25 to 30 dollars a month okay so i removed it from my personal bill list and i added it to my business expenses so i have 35 dollars that i have to profit each month so i did that for a couple of months and see, I'm not trying to just make a bunch of money. That's not the mission. The mission was to get my, my business checking account to pay for my personal expenses. And I can do it slowly and transition slowly over time. This is how you stop working full time for another company. And start relying on your trading to pay your bills and to make a living with. Okay? So you continue this after a couple months. You add the next lowest bill on your list. And you keep doing this. And over time, guess what happens? Slowly over time, your trading business is starting to pay the bills. And it now makes no sense to go to work anymore because it will cost you more money to go to work than it will to stay home and day trade in your trading business and to work at your trading business. So you need a simple system. You need a, a simple system that you can master. So here's a, a simple system that we trade. And we've been doing this for 14 years. And here's some data. Uh, that was collected by one of our members. He's a budget analyst for a large corporation, but he's all about numbers. And he he wanted to prove to himself that our system actually has an edge. He didn't do this for me. He was proving this to himself. So he decided, I'm going to start collecting these numbers. And he didn't tell me anything about this until after the end of the first year. And so he said he's pretty happy with his results, well, the trade room results. 
And um, so he sent it to me. And he's been doing it every year for the last three years now. Uh, and this is the, the summary of the last three years. So it's pretty good. It's a simple system. It's so it's a very easy system. It keeps you, uh, gets you in and out of trades very quickly. And this is what it looks like. We have three setups on this on this chart. We have one here. We have one here. We have one here. When we get a particular confluence of events, we have a really good probability of anticipating when price is going to stop and change directions. Stop, change directions, stop, change direction. That's it. That's it's as simple as that. When we make trades, what you're seeing here is the chart we use to make decisions from. Nothing else. We don't need anything else. Everything we need is right there. Now, I get this question a lot. Well, how many trades per day do you get and all that? So we trade from 9 a.m. until noon Eastern time. Um, we get in that time, we get about five and a half trades per session, a couple trades per hour. That's typical. Some days it might be half that. Some days it might be double that. You just never know. We just sit and wait for whatever the market's going to offer us that day. Now, if you remember... We have a pretty good winning percentage of, of uh, winning trades. And it's, it's really easy and straightforward. So the characteristics of our trade setup. So, it, so if you look at this trade over here, we would sell it at the open of this bar. Okay, so we have this confluence of events. And then sell when this bar open. And then when this bar open... Uh, the the um, the instant that it opened, we got this called a rock star, and we shorted here and down it goes. I have attended a lot of webinars where I watched the moderator and and I saw what he was talking about, and it all looked really good. And then I went and did a trial in the trade room, and I saw nothing like what he was talking about in the webinar. In fact, it had changed quite a bit. From what he was talking about. This is exactly what you see in our trade room. Every day. And you could go to our YouTube channel. And look at the trade of the day videos. To see this over and over and over and over again. Alright. Low need for emotion control. We are in and out quickly. I created this system because I failed miserably at managing my emotions. I know I kept hearing, manage your emotions, trade like a machine. I couldn't do it. I was all about money all the time, and I thought I was broken because I just couldn't manage my emotions like everybody was telling me I needed to do. I might be able to do it for a couple of hours or a couple of days, but I could never do it for any extended period of time. Unfortunately, I'm human. And I have emotions. And I can't not have emotions when it think when it when it's about money, particularly back at the in the day when I was struggling when I just didn't have a lot of money. I needed to make more money and I definitely didn't need to be losing money. So every trade was emotional for me. So since I failed so miserably at managing my emotions, I decided as I was creating this system, well, what if I remove the need to manage my emotions or at least reduced the need for emotion management? So that meant I needed to get in and out of trades quickly. And those trades needed to have a high probability of, of being winners relatively quickly. So I studied charts a lot. And I studied where you can just look at any chart and you can see where price stops and changes directions. Well, I wanted to know what was going on when that happened. 
And after a few years of studying and figuring it out, that's how we came up with the system that we're trading now for our pullbacks. So because of no need for emotion management, well, it's a very low stress, low key, easy going type of trading. You just sit and wait. And we, we often talk about it's like waiting on a bus. There's nothing to do. There's, we can't create a bus. We're not going to run around in traffic looking for a bus. Um, we're, we're not going to jump on just any bus that's driving by. We're just going to wait. We sit quietly and we wait. And when the right bus pulls up, we just get up and get on it. If the wrong bus pulls up, we just sit there. So there's not a lot of lot to do. It's it's a very low stress type of trading. And it's low stress because there's no vagaries in in our decision making. It's a step by step process and and each step it's either yes or no. Does this condition exist? Yes or no. That's it. So there's no stress. There's no wondering if you did it right. There's no complicated trade management. We use hard targets. That's it. So if we hit our hard target, we're out of the trade. And I don't care how much further that trade goes. We're done. We put money in the bank. Done. The The beauty of this trading system is you can trade with a single contract or you can trade with multiple contracts. Now, Nobody told me. I finally got a guy to admit it when I held his feet to the fire. But nobody told me for all the years I was trying to trend trade and win 20, 30, 50 ticks per trade on a single contract. Nobody told me you can't make money doing that. I had to figure it out the hard way. And so I finally asked the guy that was trying to teach me Teach me, teach, and and we had this long conversation, and I and I finally said, I can't make money out of single contract at this, can I? Because you keep talking about scaling, and I'm still trying to learn how to trade. He goes, No, you really can't. <laughs> Thanks. That that took a long time to get that out of him. And now that I know better, you can't make any money on a single contract trying to trade. Long-term trend trades. Because your emotions are going to get the better of you and you're going to make mistakes and that's the only, that's all there is to it. So when you're trading our system, all the instruments have the same rules. You don't have to learn different rules for different instruments. Doesn't matter. As long as the instrument has some good volatility, um, some good strong momentum, which is why we only trade from 9 a.m. to noon each day, because that's the, the most liquid time in the markets. But as long as you're having good liquidity and some good movement, all the rules are the same for each instrument. You will never hear me in the trade room talk about money. Money is not what I'm doing when I'm the lead trader of my business. That's not my job. My job is to execute the trade plan. That's it. That's my only job. What Win or lose, doesn't matter. That's the bean counter's job. My job is to sit down in front of my boss at the end of the day and say, I followed my trade plan to the letter. I executed it exactly the way it's written. Now, if over time you're losing money, there may need to be some changes to the trade plan or changes in the uh, training or changes in the record keeping as it relates to trade analysis. Something needs to change, but you don't change it um, during the trading session. You don't change what you do uh, while you're trading. I've, I used to trade, I used to change methodologies in the middle of a trade. I mean, it was just amazing how many mistakes I could make at trading. 
All right, so it's not about money. You've got to stop thinking about the money. You'll notice in your other professions that you've had throughout the life, when you show up for work in the morning, you're not thinking about money. You might go because of money, but you're not thinking about money. You're thinking about doing your job because that's how you make money. Money shows up in your bank account because you went and did your job. So doing your job results in a paycheck. And that's all you're looking for from day trading. It's the same thing. All right. Now I mentioned YouTube. Go to our YouTube channel. We've got, I just counted them uh, yesterday. I counted them and there's over 450 videos on there. Um, and go look at the uh, playlist. One in particular, like I mentioned before, is the trade of the day playlist. You can watch this. 180, yeah, 180 videos there. Two or three minutes long each. You'll notice after you watch 10, 20, 30 of them, that it's the same thing over and over and over again for 14 years. It hasn't changed. We keep doing the same thing. And it keeps getting better all the time. All right? So, yeah, and by far, uh, I think the best, the fastest way to learn what we do is the trade of the day videos. Now, there are lots of training videos there, too, training you on our system that you can watch. In fact, uh, let me go back. You'll see this presentation for traders, and you'll also see pullback trader training. You can go and look at those and you'll see a bunch of videos on how to trade our trading system. Okay. Now, for each of you that have uh, uh, come to our event here today, I, again, I appreciate you coming. Had a great time. Uh, Going to offer you a 20% discount. Uh, and if you go to our uh, our store, Enter this at the checkout, TLB20 at checkout, and get yourself 20% uh, off anything in the store. Um, the Pro Trader program has basically everything. It's a one and done thing. You don't have to ever, of course, all of our indicators, when you buy an indicator, it's a lifetime. You don't have to ever pay for it again. Pro Trader program. Lifetime, all of our indicators, any indicators we develop in the future, uh, lifetime trade room, we got a peer mentoring program, we've got our fast forward training program, uh, you get free essential add on suite. I mean, it's just on and on and on and on. Everything we could think of, we threw into the Pro Trader program, and it's a one and done type of thing. The only difference is if you want another set of licenses for a second computer, there is a small fee for that. But other than that, everything is included in the Pro Trader program. Um, we have a couple of other programs where it's a, they're smaller, there are fewer indicators, um, less less trade room time, you know, less and less. Um, which you can you can start out there if you if you feel that you need to, and then if you want to upgrade, then you we would apply anything that you purchased. Uh, previously to an upgrade to the Pro Trader program. So that's it. I appreciate you guys coming today. Uh, great crowd. Uh, we, uh, we're we going to have to cut it short here a little bit today. If you've got any questions, please send it to support at theintentionaltrader.com. And once again, thanks for coming.